You know, I, I read a book uh, years and years ago that my mother had called The Tontine. Still rings with me about about families that put money together for the, for the last child to survive. And it was so well written, it was so interesting. So, so I go back periodically and I read that. Um, I, I read mostly history and business books though. The Real Wealth of Nations. It's written by an economist and it speaks of caring economics and a different system and method of, uh, of looking at the, an economic style and governance. My favorite book, the Bible. Ah, Dan Carlin's hardcore history. My 22-year-old son is, is in history in university. He put me onto it. And Dan is not a historian, but he calls himself a history lover. And uh, when I'm driving, when, I'm, when I have time, it's, it's wonderful to listen to. You too. And, uh, you know, I like, I like that, their music. And, and also I like some 50s, old, old rock and roll. I listen to Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, old rock and roll, Led Zeppelin. Also, I listen to a lot of classical. I have a mixed bag. I listen even to country. So, top 40, I like all music. Probably Kelvin Coolidge, Richard Nixon, uh, Wilfrid Laurier would be my three three top picks for, for politicians that I've admired their commitment to smaller government. I've admired their commitment to, um, in Richard Nixon's case, it was detente and, and opening that up. Uh, Ronald Reagan is another one who smaller government and, and Kelvin Coolidge way back when said the biggest reason to elect somebody is taking the best care of your taxes. And that sums up my thinking to a big extent. I would say actually uh, Winston Churchill. He governed through very um, uh, economic and stressful and crisis time in uh, our history, but actually was a very pragmatic leader, uh, one that uh, had to take some hard, hard decisions and hard leadership steps and uh, was bold, had bold leadership. Stephen Harper. Well, I, I would be very torn between a conqueror like a Julius Caesar, um, you know, uh, Alexander the Great, uh, somebody that had the courage to to risk it all and continually, you know, get involved and and, and be the leader to take control control of others' lives. Um, Jesus Christ would have to be at the top of that as well. What a what a tremendous historical figure uh, he, that would be worthwhile to talk to. Ah. Queen Victoria, and I am a historian buff, and I am also very much interested in uh, women in not only political roles, but in being influential roles. Stephen Harper, I need some tips right now. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I had a few, but uh, surveying at about 13 years old, uh, out with, with some older guys who 22, 25 year old guys aren't older to me now of course but at that point they were and bouncing across the prairie and finding rattlesnakes in and around Cypress County. My first summer job uh, was when I was uh, working in the Elks Club in Saskatoon and uh, it was a catering uh, job and I was getting 75 cents an hour and I felt um, pretty lucky to have one at that time. So. It was, it was fun, but it was also, you know, good to have my own cash. <laughs> cleaning residences at Keanu College, where I was a CUPE union member, and cleaning the residences and how disgusting they were, <laughs> and how much I did not want to have another summer job cleaning residences at a college. <laughs>